uh, I've been in this business for more than 25 years. Okay? So whenever I see people eat my biscuit, I will say congrat congratulations. You know why this is right from my heart? Because we make our biscuit dearly. From the first day I stepped into this factory, because I'm Chinese educated, they said this is a Liang Xin Si Si Ping Hang is a Liang Xin Si Maybe you two can translate for me. It's a responsible business. Ah, we okay. take care of good ingredients. So whatever ingredient that I don't eat, sorry, I, I won't put into my biscuit. No, no matter how cheap it is. So the first thing that comes into my mind is love letters. Okay, love letters with so many flavors. Chocolate, la, strawberry, la, coconut, la, whatever last time. So chocolate, of course. You have chocolate color. Strawberry, oh, strawberry, a green, a, 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 a pink color. It's not pink, it's a red color. So my baker's uh, partner asked me, Mr. William Tay asked me, he said, Mr. Su, hey, you have to come and determine the, the color. Hey, I said, this is your job, not my job. He said, no, this is regarding the cost. Okay, look, this are, uh, he showed me the, the love letters. These are made with artificial coloring. Oh, very nice. Red, pink color. These are made with natural extracted ingredient. Huh? It's very, very light pink. So which one you want? I said, of course I want this one. Artificial, but, but they are cost difference. Okay? Artificial is, uh, that time was 16 ringgit per kilo. Okay? Naturally extracted color is 300 over ringgit per kilo. Then I said, what's the difference? He said, this one, according to European uh, uh, ingredient control is by part per million, PPM. That was the time I learned the PPM, part per million. That means one kilo of coloring, you may, you may need one million of flour to mix it. Then it won't harm your liver. Oh, I said, this, this is dangerous. <laughs> then I prefer this one. I prefer natural as extracted. Then we have the problem of marketing because our cost is always more expensive. So whatever ingredient that I don't eat, I do not want to give to people. So come to the end of 1980, I joined into the movement of uh, organic, organic, uh, organic food. I think I was the first one to plant organic. <laughs> I become a farmer. You know, so those uh, cancer cancer patients uh, always come to get my take my uh, I mean vegeta vegetable. They are doctor who who go for automatic treatment. See, uh, uh, know about my farm. You know, he's he's from Australia. He come to see me. Hey, your doctor, why you come to see me? I'm in food business. No, I want your vegetable for my cancer patient. He has 100 over cancer patients who are in termi termination case and he treat them in Australia. So he said, Mr. Su, why before I become an uh, alternative treatment doctor, my income are millions a year. So one day he met his professor. Hey, Ricky, what are you doing? He said, I'm a surgeon of course doing this. He said, no, you go and check those uh, uh, cancer patient. How many after your operation still survive? He go and check. And then he give up his career. He joined into this group of 23 doctors using this method. So first time he come and see me, he said, now I got no money. So I, I get my, my aunt go and send him to Singapore. First time he's still allowed to stay in Singapore. Second time the Singapore Medical Association banned him. Because he tried to use other method of treatment, he treat a lot of termination case. This and then after I go into this movement, oh, I know this this uh, chlorine uh, is very bad for human beings. So I start to take away the chlorine in my in my water. So the biscuit I bake, oh no chlorine, chlorine on the water, no chlorine. And then come to the air. So we bought a factory in 19, end of 1990. 
not far away, but today we are not in operation. Eh? Not far away, there's a, a, our slaughter, chicken slaughter farm. Night time, this, these people, they don't do water treatment. Water treatment very expensive. So they burn. It's very smelly. Saturday, the bird, they burn also. Very smelly. So I go to see environmental department. Hey, I say, is this smell that would contaminate my, my biscuit? He said, no, don't worry. But inside my mind, I still feel not comfortable. So I start to get people to filter my air. So this is the first time, I think, in Malaysia that people filter their air, go into the factory. So now with three, three factories, all the air are filtered. You know? And then my wife, maybe the nose has become very sensitive, and my son. So I said, see, see, we have this technology, why not we make into a small one <laughs> you know, to filter the air? Okay, this is a true joke. Huh? Okay. And uh, those workers who work for me, okay, they are foreign workers. Julie has never been stopped paying bonus, in, including the ASEAN economy crisis. Okay, so we are still paying bonus even we are in bad, very bad situation because they come here, they earn their living. You give another million to Mr. Su, it means nothing to me. You give another hundred ringgit to workers, it means a lot of thing to, to them. So these few years, these two years, I engage a, 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 a HR consultant. He's a consultant for body shop. But these two years, I because I, I last time I passed this man, uh, this factory for other people to manage for seven years. So when I come back, I still find hey, how come their pay is still stay like seven years ago? Because we don't make money after during that man that management. We don't I don't receive any any dividends. You know, first time when my wife joined me in 1992, oh, whoa, she she saw so many workers did hey when 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 change shift time, so many workers come up. Wow, oh, she said, my husband duty must be very. Very heavy because so people, so many people, you know, rely on me. So this uh, these two years I engage her, we increased twenty five percent of the pay pay package. And this professor uh, Sulin, uh, hey, Su, I work for you. Uh, I understand because I they she interview all the workers. When I talk to the workers, uh, she said, uh, she said four fire. Oh, Mr. Su come in increase my pay. Uh, now I can afford to buy extra drawing pencil and drawing book for my children. You know. Wow, talk, talk until want to cry. You know. Then she understand. Miesu, you pay me so much money, I don't feel. You pay to the workers, they feel. You know, these are the things I think many, uh, sorry, uh, many companies, they look at the bottom line. Uh, they talk about shareholders' return. You know, to me, Shareholders got a lot of money. People like me also got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, like I, I always say, I, I use a Mercedes 740, 600 over 1000, 700 over 1000. Uh, every month I pay interest 10%, you know, for the loan. Uh, 70, 000, I got 600 workers. If I don't use this car, 70,000 divide into 600, every one of them will get 100 ringgit extra for, for, for their bonus. So I decide, okay, we shouldn't use this expensive car, okay? No, uh, another thing is, there are many things, <laughs> I just got a few things on <laughs> Environment, we also take care of environment. There are, there are two, uh, I mean, headmaster who come and interview me for their thesis. Hey, I come into a factory, it doesn't look like factory, you know, like, like garden. In fact, we want to make a factory like garden. We, have, we own the duty to the society, to the world. So when you come in, you see all the three apply my knee, okay? And uh, the Alugaja Dio, uh, every year last time, give me flower. Uh, luckily, Mr. Su is a man, you know? <laughs> Okay, so we plant the tree, we take care of, uh, I mean, foreign workers. You know, for your information, when foreign workers come in, their first meal, how they cook, you know? I suppose you all don't know. They cook with white rice, and they buy goreng pisang, Mix with Korean pisang, with rice, they eat. So, okay, we decide to give them 
at, at first two weeks free get, uh, eggs. Now we give them one month eggs to, 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 for them to get back their protein. This is what we do. And the hostel, I design myself. I design myself, okay, 12 feet high, ceiling, all the terrace houses. They have enough ventilation, make sure they sleep well. And then secondly, they work happily. Yeah, they work happily. So, and we spend around six to seven hundred thousand a year to renovate here, do something there. I see a lot of uh, my friends who are who are factory owner. Their house are very nice, but the factory uh, uh, we don't comment. Okay. So after this uh, last year, eight or, or year before last year, I read a book written by Japanese. This guy visited six thousand over factory. So he write a book that uh, there are factory that a lot of uh, I mean people pray that this factory should survive permanently because the way they treat the workers, they treat the environment are different. So I hope Julie will be one of them. Then come this Yu Chu. <laughs> Yu Chu say, hey, whatever you do, you have better to let people know. So I want to open up at first to Malacca <coughs> factory owner that please come and see my factory. It's not that I want to be proud of myself. I want just want to transfer my message to them. Look, workers are human beings also. Workers are our brothers, huh? Muslim. Okay? They are our brothers, our sisters. Huh? And then consumer, they know how you bake your biscuit, no? Those you can see dirtiness, it's not dirty. Those you can't see one is real poison. So last year, end of last year, when a Japanese company they come to check our factory, uh, one lady, he, they don't see like you. Look at the top of the oven. They see go and see underneath. Oh, she said very clean. So we go through all this. We go through all this. When Melanie issue hit us, my wife was in, is in Singapore. Because Singapore is very powerful. When Singapore government ban us, 17 country ban us. So my wife go to, to complain, hey, this is something contaminated from the raw material. It's not what we want. So you come and can you come and examine our factory? So my wife in Singapore, the Singapore AVA asked, when can we come and visit your factory to inspect your factory? I was in MOH with Del Tiong Roy. So my wife called me. I said, darling. Our factory, 24 hours, can allow anyone to come in. Ask them to come in tomorrow. So, Monday they ask, Thursday they come in. Inspect, they are very happy. Okay, so, our biscuit go back to normal. This is part of the things that I have done for, uh, for myself and for my product. And I think, as a human being, I still got a value. Like God asked, let me to still survive healthily in this this society, so if I can contribute, I want to contribute. So share the love. Uh, is we spend quite a month, quite a lot of money because of YouTube. Like, if not successful, I think we're punished. <laughs> <laughs> so your song, man. Today I want to inspire you to have a patient towards this old company. So when you got patient, maybe pop tonight you write one, two, three, four, five, all the very good songs to inspire people. You know? So hopefully we can change our Malaysia image into a love image. Don't divide us Bumi Putra, non Bumi Putra, this and that nonsense. You know? So this is our mission. We want to share. Okay? Use whatever influence you can to make this motion successful. That's how YouTube talk about the special need children. There are two percent of our population has this syndrome. Two percent. It's very serious. But how many schools have this out? This out class for them. Very little. And our stupid ministry, ministry of education. Even this, these children are Chinese Chinese people or Indian people. They want to. Teach them in a bahasa. Hey, I said, come on, uh, they, are, they are abnormal already. When I talk to the government officer, he also feels shy. Go and do whatever you want. <laughs> this is the policy, stupid policy. 
you go and teach them in Mandarin also can. So this is how we do. I don't care. Usually I don't care what government do. We we have we have our patient, we have our love, we just do it. Just do it. Julie will bring it. And I do not know last two weeks ago, 988, huh? They are going to celebrate their 15 years anniversary, you know. So all the all the they they, they charge uh, those people, those participants. So whoever whoever participate they will charge a fee. So whatever profit all go to uh, this special needs school. It's my school. It's call me so you children talk to them. Well they give all to us. And we are not going to use it. We encourage other other school, please do one class. Because the uh, a class uh, only can accommodate six children. They are hyperactive la, good, uh, what uh, 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 five types uh, the head big oh. one, what do you call it? Down syndrome. Uh, Down syndrome la, and autism. Uh, autism, aut autism especially. 91, one out of 91 autism. So we have this sort of class with uh, this, uh, one, one teacher and one assistant take care of six. So they, what they teach them is uh, daily needs, how to how to flush water, how to take cold water to drink. You know. These are important. So this is what I do. <coughs> Not nothing to do with Julie's. Uh. All the while I do like this. Uh. Now I don't know why uh, is correct. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay.